Good evening from the nation's capital. I'm David Aiken. Thank you so much for watching our program. And we started tonight in Battleground, Ontario. Checking in first with our Sun News team on the campaign trail. Paige McPherson is with Kathleen Wynne and the Liberals. Joshua Skernick is with Tim Hudak and the Progressive Conservatives. And reporter Lisa Mrazek is tracking Andrea Horvath and the NDP. Liberal leader Kathleen Wynne is right here in Thunder Bay today to debate NDP leader Andrea Horvath. Outside of the hotel where the debate is taking place, right behind me, locals are protesting wind turbines and unions are protesting for fair wages. After this, Kathleen Wynne is continuing on to Sault Ste. Marie where she'll stay for the night. Tim Hudak had to know skipping the Northern Leaders debate would be the talker of the day. In the press, well, they didn't disappoint. After a productive town hall meeting in Peterborough, he got grilled on how Northerners couldn't take this as a snub. To his credit, though, he stayed on message, talking of his vision for the Ring of Fire and also on how his policies extend to all of Ontario. He says it doesn't matter where he announces them. It's all about Northern Ontario today on the campaign trail for NDP leader Andrea Horvath. She began the day at a local community centre in Thunder Bay where she focused on the NDP plan to improve the quality of life for residents of Northern Ontario. She then went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Liberal leader Kathleen Wynne at a local hotel in Thunder Bay for the first leaders debate that focused exclusively on issues that are important to the North, including the ring of fire, forestry, energy needs and the ways in which each party will work directly with local communities and First Nations groups. Horvath then flew to Sudbury for a rally at a local campaign office with candidate Joe Cimino before flying back to Toronto for the evening. All right, thank you so much, Lisa. And uh, our chief election correspondent, Bryn Weiss, was also in Thunder Bay today. Ground zero for the last couple of days on the campaign trail. Release of the Liberal platform there yesterday and today the Northern Ontario debate. And Bryn, I, I, of course, used to work in Thunder Bay. In fact, I know the territory so well. I can tell you where Lisa was standing for that stand-up. She was in the parking lot at the Valhalla looking back at Mount McKay. How do you like them apples? All right, Bryn, fill us in. And you look like you're downtown somewhere in Port Arthur. Fill us in on what's been going on. Yeah, David, some fire trucks just went by me, and that might be because Andrea Horvath was on fire. Uh, but also another joke cool. here, David, she was loaded for bear, and I say that because she's in northern Ontario in the springtime, and right out of the starting gates, Andrea Horvath was on the attack, David. She really did make a show here trying to call the Liberal Party corrupt, incompetent, unfit to govern and that was clear as a strategy from the get-go. I want to play a little clip here David just to give our viewers a sense of how nasty and negative Andrew Horvath was. Let's watch. And that starts by cleaning up corruption. Enough of their lies, enough of the wasted billions and billions of dollars for their own gain and Ms. Wynne was at the center of it. This government sh has shown that they are corrupt and that they don't deserve your vote. Now, to be fair, David, this debate, although it wasn't much of a debate per se, was organized by the Northwestern Ontario Municipal Association. And so it was Northern Municipal leaders and First Nations leaders who were asking the questions. And not surprisingly, one of the big questions today was energy rates. That's because, as we've talked about this, this campaign, David, hydro rates in Ontario are twice as high as they are in Quebec and Manitoba. And here in Northern Ontario, that's obviously a big issue, not just for industry, but also for residents. And while Andrew Horvath outlined her party's plans to lower those rates, capping CEO salaries uh, and merging the hydro agencies into one, Kathleen Wynne had an answer on this which might not go over all that well if you're paying high energy rates in Ontario. Essentially, David, she said today, as she said before, investments needed to be made in the energy system because it was unreliable. Investments are still needed and that's why costs are so high. But on the other big issue of tonight's debate, David, the Ring of Fire, Kathleen Wynne did have an answer. She has pledged in her platform that was unveiled here in Thunder Bay yesterday $1 billion to help build that infrastructure up to the Ring of Fire area with or without the federal government's support. And that is a message that she was really trying to ram home today that she is going to fight for this Ring of Fire development. Let's watch. I'm uh, really pleased that Ms. Wynne has decided to join us today. Mr. Hudak's absence sums up, I think, uh, his opinion of uh, Northerners and uh, how he feels about them. Hardworking people, that's what Northerners are. You are hardworking, honest people, and you deserve a hardworking, honest government. 
That, of course, was Andrew Horvath uh, again. Uh, but Kathleen Wynne basically, David, and I'll sum it up this way. She said she would not view her premiership as successful if at the end of four years there wasn't major developments in the Ring of Fire region. So that gives you a sense, I think, of how important she knows that development is to the Northern Ontario ridings. And if she wants to win a few more here, she better be a big champion for the Ring of Fire. David? And, and let's remember, in the Thunder Bay, the city, you know, obviously it's a big city, uh, 110,000 or so, uh, there's two ridings there, Thunder Bay Atacoke and Thunder Bay Superior North, both held by Liberals. And even though Dalton McGuinty did not show up for the Northern Ontario debate last time, Liberals still got those two seats. But these the, the New Democrats have had some success here. This is really an NDP versus Liberal fight for the seats in most of Northern Ontario. Yeah, very much so, David, and we'll get into that a little later on in the show, but you're definitely right. Thunder Bay is liberal territory, uh, but it's just those two ridings that are liberal, Thunder Bay Superior North and Thunder Bay Atacokan. Beyond that, it's NDP country, and that, I think, perhaps makes this debate uh, quite a poignant showdown between Andrea Horvath and Kathleen Wynne. They are really the two parties of Northern Ontario, and both of those leaders were going toe-to-toe -to -toe today. The other point that people are making about the debate, David, it's the first time in Ontario's history where the two debate participants have both been women. Hey, there you go, too. All right, Bryn Weiss, we'll talk to you a little later on the show from your listening post in Thunder Bay.